Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to jab properly, with live technique plus footage of my top 10 greatest boxers jabbing. We'll see professional boxers from many different eras including Muhammad Ali in the 1960s, Mike Tyson in the 1980s and Klitschko in the 90s, all the way to nowadays greats like Canelo Alvarez, Vasily Lomachenko, from Manny Pacquiao and Alexander Yuzik, all jabbing. After I show you how to jab properly, we're going to see these champs jabbing, some during training and others in the ring. Okay, so let's begin. Hello everyone, this is Sinistikis and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a proper jab. So there are five steps to doing a proper jab. The first step is the stance. You either have an orthodox stance, left leg forward, as you can see, or southpaw stance, right leg forward. Now most fighters, most boxers, most MMA fighters have an orthodox stance, left leg forward. So for simplicity reasons, I'm going to be using the orthodox stance to show how to do a proper jab. So first step, do the correct stance, put your left leg forward. Second step is to defend yourself. As you can see, put your hands up. And it's the setup for the third step. Now the third step is moving your jab from inside to outside. What do I mean from inside to outside? So first, you want to throw your jab, go with from inside, and then turn to outside. So let me do it so that you can see. So you want to throw your jab as a hammer, and then twist in the end. As you can see, I'm going to turn. You want to throw your jab from inside to outside. So let's see. You go in to out. You want to go from inside to out. Now the fourth step is pretty obvious. What I just did is to fully extend your arms. If you don't fully extend your arms, there won't be enough power. The less your arms are extended, the less power. So you want to fully extend your arms. Fully extend your arms. So you defend it. You throw it from in to out and fully extend. Most power. The more it's extended, the more power. The more explosive it is. Now the fifth step, and this is a very important step, is after throwing your jab, fully extended, is to return your hand to your face and defend yourself immediately. Because there are many boxers, many MMA fighters even, who take that jab, who eat the jab up, so they take the punch to the face just to give you a harder punch or to knock you out with a hook. So you want to you throw that jab, the second you throw your jab, you have to make this an instinct of defending your face directly. So, ta! See, I threw the jab, and I died to defend my face. Throw the jab, defend your face. Now, let me repeat the five steps again. I'm going to first do it facing, and later I'm going to do it in this direction so you can see the form. So, first you want to put your left leg forward for the orthodox stance. Put your hands up, get ready to move your hand from inside to outside. Extend, fully extend, and defend yourself. Ta! So, left leg forward, defend, inside to outside, inside to outside, fully extend, inside to outside, fully extend, and back to defend. Inside to outside, fully extend, back to defend. So these are the five main steps to doing a proper jab. Now, I'd like to note that many top boxers have different ways of doing jabs. There's flicker jabs, there's many types of ways of doing jabs. But this is the simplest, most effective, and easy way to doing a jab for anyone. It's a simple jab. Now you know how to do a clear, proper jab. Now let's watch the real jabs. 